Federal Laws That Protect You at Work. Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me here at Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Federal laws that protect you at work. Now, these are U.S. laws. Most com- countries have similar laws. Um, please check. You can probably do so online. Uh, in the United States, there's also um, some slight differences among states, but these are the eight that federal law protects. There can be more depending upon what state you live in. Number one, minimum wage. There is a federal minimum wage. Um, There has been for many decades. So that's number one. Number two is workplace safety. And this is governed by OSHA. They will come out and check workplaces for safety especially if you have too many um, claims for injuries. Number three is health care coverage. If there is more than 50 employees, this came about during Obamacare. Actually, um, this protection sort of got us less because companies began dropping spouses and other family members. So, um, It was designed to protect us. It didn't really work out that way. Um, Hopefully, um, they're still working on it in the future. I would like to see employers um, be a little bit more liberal with health care coverage. Number four, Social Security. The employer has to pay 6.2% of your Social Security. Number five, unemployment benefits. They have to pay unemployment insurance. And this is for um, if you lose your job through no fault of your own. That would be like getting laid off. That would be like the company shutting down. Um, something to that effect that was through no fault of your own. Number six, whistleblower protection. If you go and complain about a problem with you or somebody else or something that's going on at the business, that is unfair, which um, uh, keeps the company out of compliance, which breaks the law. They cannot retaliate against you. And federal law protects those whistle- whistleblowers. Number seven, family leave. 12 weeks per year for birth or adoption. And that's if a company has 50 or more employees. And it also is for serious family illness. And I think a lot of companies are probably out of compliance with that. Number eight, employment based on discrimination. You cannot be discriminated for race, color, religion, sexual orientation, sex as in male, female, or whatever sex you identify with, national origin, age, or disability. And if you are discriminated against those, those complaints can go to the EEOC. We're going to have a video on that. We want to help you work in an environment that is happy and healthy for you because here at Life Square, we're about helping you make your life at least 75% healthier and happier and working at a compliant place and employers and business owners having a compliant place of work for people to work at is certainly what you want. We at least hope so. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell your friends about us. We want to help you become 75% healthier. Thanks for joining us here at Life Square. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.